Okay, this was a lot of fun. A Visionaire Cipher in Google Sheets where you can encrypt or decrypt a text using a text key. I've used the Wikipedia pages uh, example, and we're just scrolling down here. They've given some plain text and a key and the cipher text. And we're gonna take that and we're gonna plug it in over here, attack it Dawn, and it prints out the encrypted text. Okay, let me show you how we did this. So I have built the grid over here with keys along the top and plain text along the side. And so the way this works is we take the first letter of the plain text, which is A, all right? Right up here, A. Then we take the first letter of our key, which is L. And as you can see, our key is up top here. And so right there, L will be the first encrypted text. Now then we take the T and we see that T and we go over here to E, it would be an X, so forth and so on until you have encrypted the whole text. We, of course, want to do this automatically so it just appears right there. Okay, the first thing I want to do is split up the plain text so that I've got each letter in its own cell. And we want that, of course, also to happen automatically. We've got a bit of a problem with the split function because it wants me to put a delimiter in here. But I, I can't just do no delimiter and split it automatically. So we have to do some kind of fancy stuff. So let's do this regex replace. We're going to take that text. And then we're going to put in a really funky expression. Now, just bear with me. You don't need to learn regex, which is regular expressions. This is going to add a period or a space or an underscore or anything I want in between each character. It's creating character groups is what's happening here. And then it's just adding something in between them. So if I put a period, uh, you can see that it puts periods. Now uh, it's arbitrary what we do here because the next step, we just need that period or that space or that parentheses. We need that to be our delimiter. So I'm going to take that whole thing as the text and then split it by whatever I put in there, which in this case is the period. And now you can see that I've got each character in its own cell. Okay, pretty cool, right? I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it down here and we're going to do the same thing for the key. Now, a note here, if you just have the key or if you just want to use the key lemon, um, that's perfectly fine. What you'll need to do is then just make sure that it's the same length. So repeat it from the beginning so that it becomes the same length as your plain text. That's just how the cipher works. Okay, then we need to encrypt the text. We're going to use a double lookup to do that. Let me show you what I mean. The xlookup function takes a search key. And in this case, we're going to use this plain text as our search key. We're looking for the plain text. And where are we looking for it? Well, we're looking for it in this plain text column. I'm going to lock that in place. And what I want to return, I actually want to return another X lookup. This is how we get it to work. So I'm now going to X lookup because I need to use my key to know which of these alphabets in the middle I'm going to use as my encrypted alphabet for each step here. So I'm going to take the key value, which is this L, and I'm going to look for that up here. I'm going to hold that in place by pressing F4 so we get all the dollar signs. And then I'm going to return the result range is down here. So it's actually going to return a full alphabet. Do you see how that's working? So I've got the key value, which is the L from lemon. I'm looking for it up here in the key. 
and then I'm returning whichever one of these alphabets lines up with that. That alphabet will be what is used in this first lookup. As I look up here for the A value, and then it's going to go over and use this alphabet, which is being returned in the second X lookup, as the returned value for the first X lookup. It's sort of mind boggling, and I understand that. And it took me several takes to wrap my own head around it. It's very cool. So I'm going to press Control R to drag that across. And as you can see, L, X, F, O, P, V, etc., which if we come over here, we find that yes, that is the correct encrypted text by using this cipher. Okay, one more thing. How are we going to get it up here? Let's just say equals join. And I'm going to join together. Interestingly, you can use join with a double quote, double quote, and it just joins together in one fell swoop. Uh, like you can't do that with splitting, but you can with joining for some reason. And there's our encrypted text. How about that? That's pretty sweet, I think. Now, the inverse will also be sweet. So if we start out with just the key and just the encrypted text, then we need the plain text by doing the reverse. So let's copy these formulas that we just used up there. Okay, to decrypt something, we're going to use the same double X lookup, but in reverse. So here I'm going to take the cipher text. And the place I'm looking up is going to be where we do the double lookup. So we start our second lookup by selecting the key, looking for that key value, returning the key alphabet, and then the final step is grabbing the actual plain text from over here. And in the same way, we can drag this over, attack it done, we get the correct answer, and we can join this together up here like so. Pretty sweet, right? Hope you learned something. Hope you will uh, enjoy incorporating double X lookups as much as I did. If you found value here, please click the subscribe button and like this video. You're awesome. And here are my children home from school. Say hello. Hi. And goodbye. <laughs>